All right, guys, here we go. This is our casual round at Buffalo Disc Golf Course. We've got uh, a Anthony very Rosado. Yeah. He's pretty rusty. Pretty rusty because it's a rare sight to see Anthony out. And um, we can tell from that shot that he's going to need a touch more warm up. I think so. He might have to take two off of this uh, first, first hole, that's for sure. Here we got Jarrett. He's throwing a. Looks like, what is that, a destroyer? No. That's a blue disc. What's your blue? Yeah, it's a champion, champion, destroyer. champion destroyer. Get yourself a little putt right there, though. Looks, looks all right, though. And since it's an island hole, you're really just wanting to get that initial 250 feet into that, into that, that nice curve. Yep. Yeah. Here we got, we got uh, Mr. Weems right here. Oh, didn't quite get it over. He might be trying to play yeah. safe and just try to get it in there and get his upshot. And I don't think that that quite made it across, though. Here we got Nick. He's trying to get a flick. And he just gets looks nose decent, up. But yeah, that nose up just really, the wind just slows it down. Here we got Grindle and Jordan. Jordan puts a good move on it. I think that's going to be uh, putting. And it really doesn't matter when you come out here. There's always a crosswind coming down that line where the power lines are. So you got to anticipate that you're going to get some push on. You can see it affecting nearly every one of those shots. Yeah. There's the second shot. Matt. Nick's throwing his second. Looks like he's looking at a little bit more left. He might try to get a little bit of flex out of it. Oh, and it looks like he he turned it over. A little bit of wrist roll, maybe. Not quite sure. Here we got... Oh, that looks nice. Nice little turnover shot. Yeah, that looks like an understable fairway. I wonder what he's throwing. And it came back at the end nicely. Yeah, it did. This time, I went a little deep with the what destroyer. Are you here? Another destroyer? So I lined oh, up. Oh, no, is that a firebird? Lined up the Firebird this That's time. Firebird. And you can see it gets over real quick. And it oh, should man. give some, should get us close. Yeah. Who's this guy right here? He's up here again. He wants some more. Let's see if he can correct off of this throw from the first time. Huh? Oh, no, not, you didn't commit out there wide enough. But that's definitely in bounds. <laughs> Here's Trey. And Trey is going to play this whole round with Putter. <laughs> he loves that Waco Warden. That's been his money disc. The only thing is that got a little bit nose up. If he can get that nose down, he can get that distance. Oh, this looks good. Yeah. That was a uh, Nolan, it looked like, right? I thought I saw Nolan. And the way that this hole cuts down to a corner Everyone's just trying to get inside there for a look. Here comes Anthony from the outside. Jared trying to rush a putt. Get it. Get it. Get <laughs> oh, it. I never had a chance. It's hard to commit to that line, though, because you're staring at the fence, and it's kind of like a death putt, because if you go past it, you could you could be taking a whole other stroke and throwing from the drop zone. And there's so many of us out here at the moment that we're all looking around trying to figure out who's up. So a lot of ready golf. Yeah. Oh, does that stay Nolan in? Nolan gave it a nice run, but it manages to stay in. He had. I like. I love the way Nolan putts. He reminds me if you could mix uh, Ricky Wysocki and uh, Nate Sexton together. Like he has that nose down putt, but he's always straddle putting. And there I am from about thirty five. Oh, look at hey. this! Oh, he gets his birdie putt. We'll ring that up. Nice. Start off the round. Oh, that's pretty good. Way to start off the round hot. It's nice to get a bird. Oh, just missing. The this is the drop zone that you're seeing over here in the corner. And this whole one here is just kind of the beginning of the course. We're still up by the barn, up by the road. Uh, kind of an introductory hole gets you started before we encounter the water and the trees. And <laughs> so it's, it's fairly friendly, good way to start off. You f have a pretty good chance of having a feel good hole. And I'm throwing a turnover escape here. And I just kind of threw that out good. on an ante and let it ride down the hill. And it kind of caught. Cut some mounds about 40 foot out, but it should play. This is pretty. This is a very nice line. This Just behind pretty. that basket, you you have a little pond, so you don't really want to go too far. You just want to kind of run it in Go, there. go, go, go. Oh, oh, and he gets some love. 
he hit that tree and it just kept him in bounds because that looked like it could have faded out. We got Nolan here. Looks like a destroyer. He's been throwing a destroyer on this line and it's been working out pretty well for him. Yeah, just throws it up and lets it fade back in and he may have found that puddle on the left. Yeah, there's a little puddle just on this side of the, the pond. These guys are cutting that corner. Yeah. <laughs> and so, it's great if you make it. So does Nick, he's kind of like you, Jerry. He has like a left and a right, doesn't he? Like he throws, he looked like he did a backhand with his left and you flick with his right. Oh, I've never noticed that, that before. Yeah, you're probably right. There's Trey. Oh, I like this. Oh, no, that's the thing. That warden, if you miss your line, you're going straight and you're staying straight. But that's what's good about a putter. You know, it'll teach you how to hit your lines. Oh. And we got all these people not quite getting up onto that mound. Jarrett right here. This is what we call a layup. Oh, look at that layup. See that tree that, that the camera just panned to is ideally where you'd like your, your drive to be because it just checks up right there and then you have an easy putt across that, that area. And, and the camera's not showing it right now, but there's a pond directly behind that basket. So you really want to be inside the circle if you're going to test that basket. Yeah. Oh, that's a scary, scary run, but a good run nonetheless. He gave it a chance and just kind of connect. We got Jarrett here. So this is hole three. It's about 275. I wondered what happened oh, there. Oh, man. 275 foot. It fades left. It's great for a right-hand backhand player to just kind of throw a fairway driver that's got some stability. Let's see, it looks like we got, who's that, Jordan? It looks like Jordan's getting ready. I like to call that little tree up there the noob tree. Usually, usually you hit it and you feel terrible about it because you feel like you're a noob, but sometimes you get across it and you... Okay, this will stand up just a touch. That would have been nice. Oh, he gets caught by the tree. That tree right there, it, it just always catches everybody. It's hard because you really want to, like, line up almost with that whole oh, area man. on the left. You really want to line up with that area on your left and then just let the disc just fade and do its work on its own. And everyone is cutting this corner way too Nolan. tight, except Look Nolan. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, he's getting some nice skiff action right here. I wonder what he threw. That looks nice. And he's Let's about... See. He's right there. Got about a 20-footer from yeah. Birdie. So that should work out. He should He should hit that. Oh, I think... I think... I think... Uh, That's what we call a worm burner. I think what he he was trying to do is he really liked Nolan's line and was like, I'm going to try to skip it. And it just didn't work out. Nick opted to try to force over a shot. It looked and like he turned it into I a roller. So be So he's going to be trying to save four, essentially. Yeah. Unless he can somehow throw it in. Trey's from probably going to be throwing that warden again, I'm guessing, right here. No, that's not the warden. That's his, I'm not sure. I think that's the same pro or something? Or I don't know what he's throwing is that pink disc. I think, I think that's it. Oh, no. He's going to take another one. Oh. oh, that's the problem right here. If you get it too high and you get any turn on it, it just hits those tall branches. And that's what we're trying to get to. It's a pretty straight line. You just want to have some fade at the end. I guess that we're just throwing a few other ones. Bunch of upshots. There's Trey. Looks like he got it on a roller. This thing's just keep on going right here. It's actually rolling over there to the next tee pad. Oh, this looks all right. And Trey's a newer player, and he's using a lot of understable plastic, trying to get some straight distance out of it, doing what he should, starting with putters and mids, no high-speed drivers. But um, on a technical course like this, if you don't hold your line, you can spend a lot of time in the woods. Yeah. He's been playing for about a year and a half, and his game's improved uh, quite a bit. It's just, at this point, it's keeping that nose down, and I think he can really penetrate then. Get it, Trey. Get it, Trey! Oh, Trey put a great run on that. It, it was the right line and everything. Look at these jerks over here just putting their backpacks in the way. Oh, no. Someone ought to hit it. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Jordan. Oh, just top top rim, top rim. It's better, better than hitting the bottom, though. At least you give it, it a is. chance. I keep seeing me and my little mini bag over there. Over the last um, 
couple months, I put away the cart, then I put away the backpack, and I've got it down to uh, about eight discs. And I'm like, I don't care what course it is, I'm using these eight discs. And it seems to be really focusing um, what tools I'm using. Good putt by Nolan to get his bird right here. Yeah, Nolan had a great bird, oh. and he just didn't give that a chance. Yeah, look, we're here we got, we got Grindel over here making sure that the water stays in order, biting that water. <laughs> uh oh, it's forehand time. Nolan has a pretty good forehand. I'm interested to see what he does here. Oh, oh. that's the thing. You try to you try to stay as far left as you can, so that way. It, so for those yes. of you who are seeing this course for the first time, it's an uh, initial tunnel opening, a low f low shot that fades to the right, and this is about a 300 foot hole, but OB is immediately right in a creek bed. So everybody's trying to avoid that kick right. Anthony's gonna, he gets too high. Oh, he got a good kick though. You wanna be out there. Like if you're, if you're not able to stay left and get that flare skip on your forehand, you at least wanna be out there so that way you can get up and down for your par. It's pretty easy to save your par from out there, but it's hard if you get underneath all that shrubbery and trees and stuff. And really these trees that a couple people are hitting, they're about 20 feet up, but it's just, it just feels like you're throwing uphill little ways, and I think a lot of people get the nose up on this yeah. shot, and it's got to stay low. You almost just got to throw it flat and put a little bit of juice on it. Yeah. So all these guys are going to have to contend with that branch still, because they still haven't got past that branch midway down the hole. Oh, Trey. Oh, oh it stayed there. It stayed there. He's going to have a tricky shot right here because he's got to contend with that tree. Nolan trying to save par here, and he stretches oh. it out wide, and just not getting that big flare skip at the end that he was probably looking for. Yeah. Oh, I think I think what he needed is a little bit higher uh, any angle right there. It's hard to hard to get that shot from that area like this. Like this is what what you kind of need to have for that angle that he was trying to execute he kind of overcooked it a little yeah, bit but that's that's the problem though if you would put it on that angle it can definitely roll too let's see if it see if he can get it hook up hook oh, up yeah, this is stable. and there's a right backdrop back. behind the basket kind of a wall of pallets that can save a lot of people it kind of gives you a uh, permission slip to be able to run this but you still gotta kind of respect the the edges of this hole yeah we got we got Rosado over here. Looks like he's reaching for that's a that's a frontline mortar, pretty overstable mid. And he put him in a nice little getting the hole. Flick Kaiser. Oh, he gives it a chance. And he's just parked. Yeah. So easy par. That's really what you're looking for on this hole. If you don't get off the tee solid, is the easy par. So this is buttery smooth. Nolan loves to flick this shield. It's his go-to putter. He loves to throw it, and he does pretty well off there. Trey with the bogey save. A oh. little low. He gave a good chance though. And I just got to put this putt on a touch of hyzer. Yeah, look at that. Yep. And that it, tree is right there in your way, but yeah. you just managed to like get it around there. And so that's a couple of. That's that's what you're two or three down through four. Yeah. Three I, down through four. I think you missed a hole two, but I think you got the others. But that you know that helps because today was just a lot of circles edge putts and just trying to trying to stay in the hole so this one is a short hole you can kind of see it just in front of you but what did you throw on that one was that the firebird yeah i just lined up a thumber with the firebird and just stretched it out left kind of released it at kind of a one o'clock angle and just let it dump back to center nolan has a pretty good thumb wow that looks good or is that is that a tomahawk or a thumber I can't that was a thumber that. And his, his he, came back he, he's, so He's center. got that shot down. I don't have that because of my shoulder. And this is a little low. A little yeah, He'll have a window over there. He can kind of give it a run. And this is one of those holes on the course where you're really hoping to get your bird. Yeah. This is this is like one of those ones where you have to get it to. What's the distance on this one? Um, It shouldn't be like more than like 220, I think. At 220. Most. Something and really like the right side is where the sweet spot is just right of center and these guys that are not penetrating they're just a little bit left off the tee oh this has got potential that's working right yeah, there that's good 
He got way down there, I think. I think he's pinned high looking at a 25-foot putt. And if he doesn't have some obscured footing, I'm hoping he gets his deuce on this. It faded a little bit to the right, though. Uh, these guys just... I don't know whether it's just some wind, or but they're not quite getting these to stand up the way that I think that they're wanting to. I think that this hole's best attack if you just throw it straight. And yeah, like straight. Like, Trey just like cured it with that pu that putter. Who is this? Uh, I think that is and he's Jordan. Just to... He's just trying to pitch out. He probably didn't have much of a look. We got Matt here, uh, looking like he's gonna flick. Uh, looks mm. like a putter, and he gives it a run. Draws hit the, metal. Hit the hole. Trey. Trey. I don't know if that tree's in his line or not. I think he's got a, a open look right there. Oh, oh, that looked like a good line. Hey, there's Nick. All right, let's see if we can continue this. And I think this is 20, 25 feet, and it does stick. Those baskets have really, it's a really shallow basket, so you got to get some chain on it. I think you're about, what, three or four down through five? No, I think you're three down through five. Hey, watch this putt coming in here from... Oh, he, that's where he was right there. From Anthony right here. He oh. he has less of a putt than what it looks like here. And he somehow puts wow. some flex on it and finds chains. The fact that he's able to put that on an ante putt and just like ride it in there. And, and being so rusty, man. He probably hasn't played in like decades. Decades. See, this is one thing I like about Nolan as a player. He takes his time. Even though this is a casual round, he's not rushing his putt. You know, he's he's committing to it. And oh. He just got a bad, bad, he, he, It actually hit the very top link. Mm -hmm. And there's just no flex there yeah. in the chains. Anthony. Anthony's going to crush one. He wants this one. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Get up, get up. Get up. Oh, I hit those. Oh, man. But he, sh he should be able to get up and down from there because Most this definitely. is our first par four, and you're really just looking for fairway here. So this is a long, straight uh, hole with uh, finish on the left, just kind of overlooking that pond that we first came up on. And Jarrett's was... Oh, look at that. Watch this. I thought it was OB, and then watch it roll back in. It came back. Oh, wow. I had already turned away. They had to tell no me... No one saw it. Look at they this. They had to tell me that it came back in. Wow. Because about 300 foot down the fairway is this little gap where it could go OB, and it did, but it came back. So. Man. That's some four-time love right there. Oh, Nolan getting a... Nolan kind of hit a little bit on the right, but it's coming tree. back to center. That's oh, really what you want to do. He's fine right there. You can get up and down pretty easily for a bird on that. Par fours are all about fairway maintenance off the tee. Just getting it in the center and giving yourself a chance. That'll be good if it doesn't hit any of that. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, it was so clean. Yeah, that's fine. And if I was a right-handed player, I'd like to be a touch further um, right, but I'm not going to argue with being fairway. Yeah. Nick's running over there to find that. And, um He's going to get it on the next hole. Really what you want to do is, like, the, there's a big tree that's kind of protecting where the basket is. So depending on your, your first drive will really kind of dictate how you have to attack your upshot because there's certain areas where the tree just kind of hangs down, and sometimes you might have to have a low upshot. Look at him attacking this par drive. four with a putter. He gets that's out there. That's good placement, man. I mean, he could get up and down for birdie or par depending on this shot right here let's see where it goes this is how you get par mm -hmm. you're just throwing you're just throwing 200 foot at a time yeah but he's not going out you know onto the sides like we see people throwing high speed fairway drivers and you know yeah. just that, that get out. too fast and then they just end up in the brush it happens so anthony's got kind of an obscured landing here and let's see what he can do with this mid to try to get it into the is that that mortar? Yeah, still throwing that mortar. That's a good overstable mid. It's yeah, he was reliable. he was intrigued with it. I think he took it home with him. Oh yeah, he's got it on a good angle right here. Oh Ooh. look at that skip. Oh, oh that, I think it hit the base. Man, it's got. And if it didn't roll in the water there, oh. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna like it. Yeah, there's there's a little bit of uh, edge right there. He should be fine. 
No one loves a good hyzer shot. Oh, that's... oh, that should have gotten some skip. I think there's probably too many limbs and stuff right there. He was expecting ground play. Yeah, but it's it's rough inside that green. It I mean, really it's is. It's one of our one of our newer greens, and it doesn't give a lot of ground play. I don't know if it's a combination of the grass, the 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 twigs, or animal crap. <laughs> that could be it. Too. <laughs> it, could, it could be all of the above. Run. And I left this upshot a little short, so here I am, I'm kind of putting a little more putting than you want to do. But oh man, we're gonna get Perfect. it. Oh, and someone not letting me clear my basket, but I'll forgive them this time. I think someone's cell phone went off over here. Uh oh, this this putt is brought to you by Southwestern. Enrollment. Enrollment. Go ahead and get enrolled right now. Go talk find, to Nolan. Talk to Nolan. <laughs> and if you need move, talk to Anthony. And then metal fabrication, talk to this guy about to putt. Oh, look at that. He's he's answering a call right now. That's customer service right there. Customer he is, service. Oh man. All right. All right. Here's our island. Three hundred feet over a pond, and you're just trying to get it into the circle. Into this circle and make a putt. Now, if you don't. You play it as a hazard, so you take your stroke, but you throw from where you lie. So you're just kind of standing on a hill, throwing down over the side of this pond, and just trying to get that into our 70-foot circle. And Is this this mortar? And there's the mortar again. Did he make it in? He looks like he did, man. He put some mustard on that thing. If he's in, it's by a hair. This looks great. Get the wow. Hole. Wow. Yeah, he'll like that. That's that's really nice. He's gonna like that a lot. Jordan looking to follow. Oh, he took that low line. Get there. Get he there. Took the low get line. there. Get there. Oh, and he gets the skip inside. <laughs> he oh. sneaks in. Nick trying to follow. Looks like he got Ooh, it a touch he got high. A little, he got it a little nose up, and he spent most of the distance. And you know he's right. gonna he's gonna end up taking a four on that, but it it could be worse. It could yeah. be worse. I don't think Nolan has ever missed this island. But he tried this time. Watch Oof. it. It's gonna it's gonna roll, roll, and stay. It stayed. <laughs> I wonder what Trey's throwing. <laughs> I don't know. But Anthony's walking uh, up slowly, trying to figure out whether he's in or not. And let's see if we can spot him. Trey's over there trying to get a putt in, and these guys are just like walking in front of him. Rude. Goodness. If that guy right there would get out of the way. <laughs> Come on in, Trey. Stay. Welcome get in. To the circle. Get in. Oh. oh, he's in. He's inside. He, he made that a little more complicated than I've seen. Setup. I've seen people. Anthony get from two the hazards. circle. Oh. oh, he gave it a run. He did try. All right, Jordan. Oh, he makes it. That Look was a that. great putt, and that's that was, about that's about a thirty-five foot putt. That is a scary putt on an elevated basket, and that just feels good. Yeah, that was for Bird, I believe. I think he was inside. Yeah, that, was, that yeah. was for Birdie. Yeah. He was at the edge, though. Is Anthony done putting over there? I'm not sure. Oh, Let's man. see if I can get a little Look tap in this. here. Oh, playing out of order over there. I know. Goodness. That was rude. It's okay. You made the putt, right? There's just so many of us. There he is. Oh! Just have to go. Nick tried to give him the assist there. That was an alley-oop. Oh! <laughs> He got away with one of those. That was a little casual. And oh, look at this. We got Rosado right and here. And then he coming Ooh. back. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, man. There is nothing worse than going from a birdie attempt to a bogey, but he managed to save that par, and I know he's feeling pretty good about this round because it's his first one in, like Caleb said, two decades. Nolan, I love the nose look down that. coming nose in. Down. Ricky Wysocki. Run it in, Nolan. Run it in. All right, second par four. This one is... Um, Two lanes around the center group of trees, and I'm actually gonna throw a flex shot here. I get a little love with the uh, with right the there. tree because if I'd finished right at that gap right there, mm -mm. you're in tree jail. It is not friendly on the right side. So, tried to get greedy instead of just laying up to center and got away with one. Let's see how he plays oh, this. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even expect this. I wasn't I was filming this and I was like, ah, where did it go? But it looks like he took this nice ante line, and he's actually down there. 
Let's he, see. He's a I'm down always there. intrigued with what Nolan's going to do with this shot. It looks like he's... Nolan's conceding the eagle attempt, and he is just laying out to the mouth right there. Yep. He has a really good uh, thumber, so he'll probably like to go over top. And it's going to be number. Thumber City from there. He's just yeah. trying to get within 250, 300, and then he's oh, going to throw that thumber. this is a good thumber. move, but a little low. If he give it a little bit more height, they would have had room to come back and possibly even skip down there. And I don't think Birdie's out of the question, mm -mm. but he wanted a little more than that. Anthony with that flick. Let's see where that lands. Anthony doesn't throw a lot of flicks, Oh, he's, but he's got he a good one. He ended up all right. He ended up all right. And he's in the mouth there. Yeah. Anthony does a good job of getting that flick on Heiser. If you can rely on that. You're all right. Oh. And we all, we were watching this for, and, you know, just missed his line a little bit. So we we told him to line up another one. I, th I think he's going to here in a minute. Just take, take a, a mulligan. mulligan. It's a casual round. With a little bit of added pressure from the film. Yeah. But that's it. For a lot of us, this was our first time ever playing, really, on film. So not only do you got a whole bunch of your peers there, but you've also got camera there and you know that it's going to be published at some point even on local disc golf stuff so it did add a touch of pressure that is a nice looking throw right there very smooth very straight peered that line good shot, a Trey. good spin no wobble to it uh, he's throwing that putter pretty well so a lot of these people are approaching a spot where you have an option there's a big green about 225 250 up there there's also a tight kind of bottleneck that you can throw through. So you can go over, you can go through. <laughs> Looks like Nolan's electing to go over here with his with his thumber. And he kind of he wanted to be a little further left, so he's yeah, kind of behind this tree. Yeah, he's got a big tree right there. So he goes straight out. Oh, he gets knocked down. And it doesn't quite go where he wanted, but walk yeah. it off, Nolan. You got this. Yeah. Normally, I like to throw like a overstable putter, almost at this tree, but just uh. A little bit shorter than that, and then just kind of skip into this opening. It looks like Nolan's going patent pending at this time. Yeah. Turns it around, flicks it out, and oh, um, he's, he's able up. to advance it. He's playing army golf right now, right, left, right. <laughs> but he'll have a he'll have a decent upshot from here. It, it's been kind of cleared out a little bit, so we took a little bit of oh, to the middle. Okay. And, wow, Matt just put a nice move on that. Matt, this is to you. That was a great shot. Look at this. This is a oh. thousand rated uh, disc attempt at trying to get that down. Parrot, what do you have to say about yourself? Did you well, just pull a Ricky Wysocki on that? Up higher, there's a crosswind that I wasn't aware of. Uh -huh. I just ended up just kind of shifting it a degree or two left. Uh, uh, this next time I'm going to switch from a uh, talking about power stick grip to more technique. of a control grip. Oh, to man. It looks like apparently a rusty yeah. guy yeah. named yeah. Anthony Rosado knows how to get back on the disc. Thousand rated exactly. stick throw right there. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's thrown so many discs in the trees that he knows how. <laughs> And the dog, we're, is... we're, we're going to wait for Grendel to get out of the way. This is the story of our disc golf rounds, is waiting for Grendel to get out of the fairway. This dog was actually, believe it or not, found in a fairway. <laughs> oh. oh. All right, Hercules. I think that's probably a result of too many steroids. <laughs> okay, so Anthony had a decent first shot. He's second long. Is that his second shot there? That's his second long. He's looking at a bird on this one so right he could now he back. could potentially save the birdie still on this Ooh. and notice trey's feet are open so it's hard for you to put that it's hard for him to this. line that up where he where he needs it so there it goes do a little flick Ooh. and he has went long He's a too yeah, so much of executing a shot is actually a lot about footwork, I think. Like, that's such a huge part. That should play. I think it was A-Ray who was just talking about, you know, lining up your straight shot and then open up your stance and closing your stance depending on what you're wanting to throw. As far as like... Oh! Oh, man, he tried the turbo. Oh, it could have almost trickled in, too. That did everything but get in the basket. So here's Anthony trying to save his birdie. And he puts it up, and Oof. a little long. Man, that's another comebacker right there. And he's got a tree right there in his way. Oof, that was it. I don't know who that was. That was probably Trey coming in from the side. 
So the, the rest of us, we're just going to try to get out of the way while Anthony goes and finds the <laughs> Oh, well, did you see that? Nolan tried to knock your, your putter out. That's Barely. typical Nolan. So here comes Anthony. Oh, man. Should we count that as a stroke? He just I think dropped that, was that a stroke. Putt. That's a that's another All right, stroke. Save this par, Anthony. No one is watching. No one. The whole world right now is. Oh my goodness, that was high. Oh. All right. So what is that? He's trying to say. I don't bogey? know. I think Double he's trying bogey? to say bogey at this time. I mean, he did drop it. Oh man. Just the pressure of having to walk all the way from one side to the other side, it and could, then back again. It could be the sunglasses. Maybe it's the sunglasses. He's too cool. Let's save save this bogey, Anthony. You got this. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Nothing. <laughs> oh, no. Is this for devil? No, I mean, he he's up there right now. All right, bang this one home, Anthony. All right. There we go. There we go. Way to get out of there with uh, six. I mean, if he was negative, now he's positive. So this is the new hole. We are super excited about this one, inspired by Waco's Beast. Goes oh. <laughs> straight down. That's on the line. <laughs> that is actually safe. We had to have a ruling on that one. That is safe. So tell us about this hole, Jarrett. So this one is... A hole that is essentially two 200 foot putter shots. And you're trying to get to center, and then you got another lane to hit. So it's just tight corridors, about 20 foot wide, and this one's all about positioning. Um, you can't go long, short, left, or right, because there's just about a 25 foot circle in the middle that serves as a landing zone. So all these guys are just trying to take it easy, get down there, and first attempt. It's not going great for our card. So um, so walk us through your shot on this hole. As a right righty, like I can just throw like an overstable putter or a mid, but as a lefty, what are you trying to oh, do on this hole? where is Nolan going? Nolan's trying to cheat this route. I don't know if he's going to enjoy where he's going to be. I don't think he's going to appreciate that at all over there. So Anthony's a righty, so he's taking an overstable disc and probably going to try to... I'd try to get a little skip left with it, try to get started down that next lane. Ooh, oh, just saws a little it off. So as a lefty, how are you attacking this hole? Um, I'm going with a, with a fairly neutral disc. I'm hoping, I was hoping to finish a touch more left, uh -huh. and it just it just didn't quite work out, but... Are you throwing a putter or a mid on this? I'm throwing a putter, but in the future, I'm thinking about throwing a Comet or a Tursus. Just something that's super understable that you can rely on to get to that other side. And here goes Anthony down the lane right Ooh. now, because you can see those trees right there form the center of that landing zone in the center. Um, here I am kind of staring down that lane. I took, it, took um, a couple feet off the fence. Just trying to check that line. And um, right now, I've just got a kind of a 200 foot um, lane to throw down with a tree directly in the center. So I'm going to try to keep it low, minimize any ricochets, and uh, we'll see how it works out. And you, per you peered that thing. Look at that right there. We'll take it. So got to get out of here with a three, and I feel, You're gonna I get feel a okay with that. You're going to get a strokes on people. Like even if you're kind of where a tray is on a good shot, like from your first shot, you still have some work to do. Like you have to have a decent Anheuser putt to get within the circle. Anthony being smart about this one and just coming back out to center. That left side over there where Jordan and Anthony are standing, I still think we need to do some trimming over there. Yeah, I think open up some lines a little open bit. Open up the lines just a touch more. But this is first time playing this hole. Oof. Um, you can see everything is very freshly cut. And we'll see how the hole plays and what adjustments we have to make. See if these guys can throw some in. Trey. Trey's taking his time. Oh, he gets too much hyzer on that. Let's see what Matt's doing. He's trying to flick that out. That's a good attempt. So right now, we're at Buffalo, and we're seeing the wild Nolan. I think I found our next tea box. <gasps> I hear him. I hear him. <laughs> Typically, they are tending their young out in the forest. 
Nature, they are very shy animals. <gasps> it answered us. They are typically more communicative in mating season. And at this point, he's so far back in there that we're kind of doing a nature documentary. Here's his backpack right there. But we don't know where Nolan's at. All we can do is kind of hear him. So we're kind of just discussing this a little bit, kind of talking to him. <laughs> Making some noises, hoping he'll respond. And uh, That's probably why you don't cheat this hole, because you will probably regret it. So I don't know how many times he's thrown, but he is slowly making his way back towards the fairway. The noises are getting closer, and... Uh, I, I don't know if this was a troll move right there by Mr. Morgan, but I think he threw that in right as... Uh, no one was pretending to throw, and bam. Anyway, that's it, guys, and that's uh, the front nine. Adios.